Hello dear learners, welcome again. In this video, I am going to discuss MCQ practice questions on chapter number 4 of your syllabus. First three chapters I have already covered. If you have not watched those videos, you can get the links in the description box or in the i button. These are the topics which I have covered from your chapter 4. So let us begin with the first question. How much shares uh, the government hold in the public sector banks minimum 75 percent more than 50 percent more than 35 percent less than 49 percent the correct answer is more than 50 percent how many public sector banks are there in india presently as of now 21 27 12 22 the correct answer is 12 there are 12 public sector banks after the merger of several banks in 2020 so there are now 12 public sector banks where is the headquarter of sbi located in india delhi kolkata chennai mumbai the headquarter of sbi is in mumbai so d is the correct answer where was the Ori oriental bank of commerce established in india mangalore lahore new delhi Kolkata. Actually, the Oriental Bank of Commerce was established in 1943 in pre-independent India in Lahore. So, B is the correct answer and after the partition, the head, of, head, head office of Oriental Bank uh, shifted to Delhi. Okay. So, the correct answer is B, Lahore. With whom does the ownership of public sector banks rest? Government of India? A. Jointly with Government of India and shareholders from the public, jointly with Government of India and State Bank of India, jointly with Government of India and Reserve Bank of India. The correct answer is Government of India. A. Where, why were banks nationalized in India? What, are, what were the reasons? To borrow money from developed countries, to follow the IMF guidelines, to provide Government of India more control of credit delivery, all of the above. The correct answer is uh, this uh, third one C to provide government of India more control of credit delivery okay in which year State Bank of India Act was passed 1934 1945 1955 1957 the correct answer is 1955 State Bank of India is a dash Bank, public sector bank, private sector bank, joint sector bank, non-nationalized bank. So obvious, this is very uh, obvious question. That is, SBA is a public sector bank. What is the tagline of SBA? Pure banking, nothing else. India's international bank. You can always bank on us. Experience next generation banking. The correct answer is pure banking, nothing else. A. RRBs, regional rural banks, were set up on 1975, 1985, 1991, 1995. The correct answer is 1975. RRBs are owned by central government, state government, sponsor bank, jointly by all of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. It is jointly owned. D is the correct answer. Which of the following is the first state bank associate bank that got merged with the State Bank of India? State Bank of Indore, State Bank of Hyderabad, State Bank of Travancore, State Bank of Saurashtra. The correct answer is State Bank of Saurashtra, which was merged with a state bank in 2008. So D is the correct answer. Which of the following bank is not regulated by Reserve Bank of India? State Bank of Sikkim, IDBI, State Bank of Indore, State Bank of Trebankor. The correct answer is the State Bank of Sikkim because this bank was established uh, under the royal proclamation of uh, uh, the Shogyal and uh, that, uh, that comes under the provision of article, special article 371F. Uh, which keeps uh, this bank out of the purview of Banking Regulation Act. Okay, so this uh, A is the uh, correct answer. Moving to the next. The total authorized capital of RRBs was originally fixed at 1 crore 
rupees which was since has been in raised to 2 crore, 3 crore, 5 crore, 7 crore. So now it is raised to 5 crore. C is the correct answer. State Bank of India is one of the pioneering public sector banks in India with an existence extensive network of more than uh, DAS branches across the country. 21,000, 24,000, 50,000, 27,000. Correct answer is 24,000 bank branches okay which one is not the nationalized bank Punjab National Bank Bank of Baroda Bank of Maharashtra HDFC see all these three are public sector banks and nationalized bank whereas this HDFC is a private sector largest private sector bank D is the correct answer which of these banks was nationalized in 1969 United Bank of India uh, Vijaya Bank, Andhra Bank, Punjab and Sindh Bank. In fact, in 1969, 14 banks were nationalized and United Bank of India was one of them, whereas the Vijaya Bank, Andhra Bank and Punjab and Sindh Bank were nationalized in 1980, 1980 in the second wave of nationalization. Okay, so A is the correct answer. Dena Bank and Vijaya Bank merged with which bank in 2019? Bank of India, Union Bank, Bank of Baroda, Punjab National Bank. Correct answer is this Bank of Baroda. Dana Bank and Vijay Bank uh, are merged with Bank of Baroda. Oriental Bank of Commerce and United Bank of India merged with which bank in 2020? Indian Bank, Union Bank, Bank of Baroda, Punjab National Bank. The correct answer is Punjab National Bank. These two banks are merged with Punjab National Bank in April 2020. Allahabad Bank is merged with which bank in 2020? Indian Bank, Union Bank, Bank of Baroda, Punjab National Bank. The correct answer is Allahabad Bank is merged with Indian Bank. Now there is only Indian Bank. Allahabad Bank is merged with Indian Bank. Andhra Bank and Corporation Bank are merged with which bank in 2020? Indian Bank, Union Bank, Bank of Baroda, Punjab National Bank. So the correct answer is Union Bank. Now we have Union Bank, this Andhra Bank and Corporation Banks are merged with Union Bank. The lead bank scheme was introduced in Dash in India. Which year? 91. 1977, 1969, 1958. The correct answer is the lead bank scheme was introduced in 1969. Which one is the objective of the lead bank scheme? To identify those regions which unbanked and under, un, underbanked in districts to help in removing regional imbalances through appropriate credit deployment to extend banking facilities to unbanked areas. All of the above. The correct answer is all of the above are the objectives of the lead bank scheme. So D is the correct answer. A high power committee was constituted by government of India headed by the Dash former deputy governor of RBI in order to suggest some reforms in the lead bank scheme. Usha Thorat, Urjit Patel, C. Rangarajan, Manmohan Singh. So, the correct answer is Usha Thorat. This committee was headed by Usha Thorat to suggest reform for LBS scheme. DAS is a scheme which aims at providing adequate banking and credit in rural areas through an service area approach with one bank assigned for one area. RRB scheme, the lead bank scheme, Jandhan scheme, inclusive banking scheme. So the correct answer is the lead bank scheme is the scheme which aims at providing adequate banking and credit in rural areas through service area approach. Which one is the major problem faced by India's nationalized banks? Losses in rural branches, non-performing assets, advanced to priority sector, all of the above. The correct answer is all of the above are the problems which are faced by a nationalized bank. A lot of NPAs, a lot of losses in rural branches and uh, the loans advances given to the 
priority sector that is agriculture and a small sector okay so these are the questions dear students all the best good luck